good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to On the Gavitry with Frank Corvis. I want to share with you an experience I had a few weeks ago. I had the misfortune to be taken short in a public house. And the gentleman's gavitry just happened to be out of order. So the landlord said to me, Frank, why don't you use the ladies? <laughs> but they wouldn't keep still. <laughs> I had to leave the pub and I rushed out and I hailed a taxi. Taxi! Take me to the gavitry. And away we went. <coughs> and I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that by now there was a titanic struggle going on inside my underpants. <laughs> I think we were pretty evenly matched, although I reckon that the poo had the weight advantage. <laughs> And I did the best I could, but I am just fresh in blood, and eventually I became exhausted, and I had to very discreetly drop my trousers. <laughs> well, I won't go into details, it's not very nice, but sufficient to say that I evacuated myself. <laughs> then I pulled my trousers up, and I, I looked around, and there was this monster. <laughs> Coiled on the floor. <laughs> Hissing slightly. I thought for a moment it might rise up and come at me. <laughs> but it didn't do that, of course it didn't. However, I had just trapped in a taxi. <laughs> and I wanted to get out. Apart <laughs> from anything else, the stench was endless. <laughs> I was very nearly sick. <laughs> in fact, I was sick. <laughs> but not, not in the taxi, no. Early, earlier on in the day, it was a bad day for me. I, I had the misfortune to be sick over a tramp. <laughs> it was a hot meal for him, I suppose. The taxi has stopped and I get out and it's not a very nice thing, is it, to do a poo in somebody's taxi? <laughs> so I gave him a ten-pound note. Well, actually, it was the five I'd wiped my bottom with, but he... <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I gave him a chip. I said, clean out the back of your car. 